Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to draw this live buoy inside Adobe Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So here we are in Illustrator and if you're a subscriber, you'll notice that today's episode has a bigger screen and a better resolution. And that's because I got gifted a new monitor from my girlfriend. So I'm looking forward to working on this monitor and deliver higher quality videos for you guys. So now let's get into the video. The first thing we want to do is go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again, and snap to grid. Then zoom into the grid, go to the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key and draw a circle that fills out four of these squares on the grid. Then go to the fill and disable the fill. Now choose the stroke again and go to the stroke width and choose the width that you like for your live buoy. I will choose something around 12 millimeters. Now go to the line tool, draw a straight line and keep the stroke width for the line the same as for the ring. Now go to the selection tool, hold down the shift key and rotate the line 45 degrees. Then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and choose paste in front. Now we have a copy of the line on top of the other line. So rotate this line 90 degrees to the left. Now select all the elements, go to object and select expand. Make sure fill and stroke is checked and click OK. This converts all the elements into shapes instead of strokes. So with all the elements selected, click one more time at the circle to get this big selection around it. This means that this is now the key element. Then select horizontal align center and vertical align center. Selecting the circle as the key element first, make sure that the circle doesn't move and only the cross is moving. So now with all the elements aligned, go to Pathfinder and if it isn't open, go to Window and go to Pathfinder right here. When it's open, go to Pathfinder and select this icon right here that says Divide. Then right click the elements and click Ungroup. Now we can delete all the parts of the live buoy that we don't want. So all the outer parts and all these parts inside the live buoy. And there will be some invisible parts as well. four of these invisible parts. Delete those two. So now we are left with this ring that is divided into the shapes that we want. But we need to do one more thing before we color the live buoy. So select the ellipse tool once again, go to the middle of the live buoy, hold down the alt key and the shift key and draw a ring that goes to the middle of the live buoy. For this ring we don't want any fill or stroke. So select the fill and click none. Then go to the selection tool and select all the elements again. Then once again go down to Pathfinder and click divide. Then go to the live buoy, right click and click on group. Now we have all the elements that we want. So now select all the big outer parts. So hold down the shift key and select all the big outer parts. And I have prepared these swatches right here. If you want the same swatches you can download them down in the description. And there will also be a link to one of my videos showing you how to import all the swatches. So for the outer parts we choose the light colors. So for the big outer parts we choose the light red. Then select all these parts. And choose the light gray. Then choose the inner parts. And for these choose the dark red. And finally choose these parts. And select the dark gray. And here we basically have the live buoy. Now we need to create the water and the rings in the water. So first off, select the live buoy, right click the live buoy and click group. Then go down to the layer and log it. Then create a new layer, go to the layer and drag it beneath the live buoy layer. Then select the rectangle tool and draw a big square around the live buoy. Select the color of the water for this square. And then simply lock this layer too. For the rings in the water, we'll create a new layer. And my OCD sort of mind tells me that the layer with the rings in the water should be above the live buoy layer. You don't have to do this. So now while we are working with the rings in the water, uncheck the visibility for the background layer. Then go to the ellipse tool. And while holding down the shift and the alt key, go to the middle of the live buoy and draw a circle that is a little bit bigger than a live buoy. Then invert this into a stroke instead of a fill and select the width that you want for the rings in the water. I'll choose 1.5 millimeters. So now, while having this ring selected, go to Object, go to Path, and go to Add Anchor Points. 
This will add twice the amount of anchor points, but we need even more. To do this two times more, go to object, go to path, go to anchor points, and as you can see, now it added even more anchor points. So now do this one last time. Go to object, go to path, and go to add anchor points. Now we have a whole lot of anchor points right here. Then go to the stroke menu and select round cap. So now while still having the ring selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. This once again creates a copy of the ring on top of the original ring. So with this top ring selected, hold down the alt key and the shift key and scale this ring out a bit. Now once again, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. And with this top ring selected, hold down the alt key and the shift key and downscale it until it's in the middle of the life buoy. Now we can go to the direct selection tool and start deleting some of the anchor points to break off the rings. So with the delete key, delete some of the anchor points. And do the same for the outer rings. Then when you delete points from this ring, make sure to delete points that are covered by the outermost ring. And now to add a little more details to the ring, we want to create some links to the ring. So go to view and unselect snap to grid. And you can disable the grid as well. Then select the line tool and draw a few lines that links the inner ring to the outer ring. Then select all the rings in the water, select the stroke and color this stroke the light blue color. Now you can check back the visibility of the background layer. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.